So first off, the insanely intense calisthenics leg workout, we have jumping squats. It's a really good cardio workout, really intense on the legs. If you want to make it harder, jump higher. If you make it even harder, touch your toes. And you want to be doing a minimum of six reps, no less than that, and a maximum of 12 reps to really build the muscle. You start going higher than 12 reps, you're starting to go into endurance, and less than that if you're using like really, really heavy weights with certain exercises, then you're going in the direction of power lifting. And with me, I normally put my bum almost to the ground with squats, but not everyone can do this, so just go as low as you can go. And then we've got the Bulgarian leg squats. Again, six to 12 reps. And I've actually added weight because otherwise it's too easy for me without weight. But if you're a beginner, you can use no weights whatsoever or a lower weight. Or if you're someone that's a higher level than me, then you can use more additional weight. And yeah, make sure you try and get your knee down to the floor if you possibly can. Not everyone can get that low down, but do the best that you can do. And yeah, just make sure that you keep pushing forward, keep moving forward. It's going to be quite intense to do. This workout was for me, I will admit that. And yeah, in this video, I'm resting around 15 seconds each time. But this is for more advanced people like myself, that rest time. But if you're someone that's a beginner, you may need to rest up to 60 seconds. And most people that are beginners that I work with need to normally rest 60 seconds between each workout. But if you find you need to rest a bit more, then rest a bit more. So yeah, this workout can really be modified for where you are at. And this is the first voiceover that I'm doing for a calisthenics workout video. Tell me if you prefer this rather than me putting text over the top and telling you what to do. I'd really like to know which one you prefer. And now we are going on to walking lunges for one minute. And again, I've added additional weight. I think it's around 25 kilos. And with this one, you don't have to use weight. Again, if you're a beginner, and yeah, my girlfriend forgot to follow me at this point, that's why it's turned round. And yeah, if you're someone that feels you need additional weight, then use it. Make sure that every exercise is challenging you. I am going for max effort. So yeah, you really want to be going all out. And yeah, I really love this exercise. It's a good cardio at the same time. And I'm telling you, from this workout at the end, I am sweating so much. There's no aircon in this place. But yeah, I really enjoyed making the workout video. And make sure with the lunges that you are putting your feet out quite far in front of you to the point where you can get your leg that is behind you to touch the knee to the floor. And I have to say, especially with additional weight, this was one of the hardest exercises for me to do in this workout. It's really, really pushing my muscles, but that's what you need to do. You need to be challenging yourself to maximize muscle growth when you're recovering and resting because that is where the growth happens. And then the next exercise that I'm moving on to is jumping lunges, and you wanna be doing 12 on each side this gets your heart rate up really high makes you sweat a lot makes you burn a lot of calories and really helps lower your body fat percentage this one is not for the faint hearted at all but yeah it's one of my favorite ones to do and with this one you want to be doing 12 on each side very similar form to the walking lunges get your knee to almost touch the floor and for this one if you want to make it harder jump higher if you want to make it easier jump lower it's as simple as that and I'd recommend to get the full leg muscle gaining benefits and weight loss benefits that you want to be doing at least three rounds of this to get the full muscle gaining benefits and weight loss benefits as well and if you find you can't do three rounds just do two rounds and now on to archer squats you want to be doing 12 on each side as you can see i'm using additional weight to make it harder for me you don't need to use weight and you try and spread your legs out quite far like mine and if you're using a weight don't extend all your arms out fully Lift them up slightly so you can go even lower. The lower you go, the harder it is. And the wider your legs are apart, the lower you can go as well. So if you're a beginner, you don't necessarily need to go as low or use weight. 
you can put your legs closer together and not go as low down. And make sure your feet are parallel and they are facing directly in front of you. Don't turn them slightly outwards or inwards. And as you can see when doing this, you wanna have one leg completely straight out, not bending, and the other leg bending forward. And make sure before this workout to do some warming up to get your legs prepared, but also do some warming up with your lower back as well especially if you're using weights because the ones such as the walking lunges and some of the other exercises with weights it's really quite intense on your back when you're using a lot heavier weights so by making sure your back's warmed up is ready to start training and this is the last exercise out of the six calisthenics leg exercises in this video and this is the crab walk as many will call it and yeah, this one is pretty intense and yeah, it's definitely working my lower back quite a bit. And what you do is move sideways, as you can see I am now, and squat down. You don't really wanna go much lower than I've gone down. And yeah, when you move from side to side and your feet come together, put your feet together, go quite wide out to really get the full effects of this crab walking calisthenics exercise. And yeah, I did this for a total of one minute. If you find that that's too long for you, then just make it a lot shorter. It's now coming to the end of this leg calisthenics workout. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below share this video with others and make sure to click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more calisthenics workout videos from me on a regular basis so make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded